Now let's go to Grafton where we've learned some of these toxic materials that have been taken out of East Palestine are being taken for incineration. As we said, Emma Henderson visited the site today. She joins us now live from Grafton. Emma, good afternoon to you. Hi, I'm at Ross Environmental Services headquarters. Now they've been around for more than 70 years, so this is nothing unusual for them. Now they use an incineration process that will burn the toxic waste at an incredibly high temperature, turning it to ash. Company officials say they deal with this type of byproduct from businesses and even other derailments in the past. The EPA selected them as one of the companies to handle the East Palestine waste and to qualify a company has to meet all EPA safety standards. This is what our experts do. Uh, they're the best in the business. They're used to working uh, with materials that you have to be careful with. Uh, and this particular waste stream will be no different. Now, this doesn't mean that all neighbors are convinced. We spoke to a neighbor who doesn't want that East Palestine waste or any toxic waste, for that matter, coming through her neighborhood. We'll hear more about that coming up at 5. Betsy, Jay. All right, Emma Henderson reporting live from Grafton. Emma, thanks very much.